right, lads. Let's jump into today's video. Today, we are doing another how-to video. You guys really, really, really seem to enjoy yesterday's how to make a super team video. So today, we're going to do the five easiest superstars to trade for in NBA 2K21. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. We're trying to hit 4,000 subscribers. So go down there, subscribe. That'll be amazing. I post my league content twice a day. So if that's something that interests you, subscribe, turn on the bell. That'd be fantastic. Also, like the video. It helps us out a whole bunch, especially if you find this helpful. So the first player that we have that is pretty easy to trade for is Trey Young. By the way, I have made a how to trade for Trey Young every single time on TikTok and also it's a YouTube short on YouTube, so check that out if you already want to. However, he is one of the easiest players to trade for, a superstar player to trade for in NBA 2K21 My League. First trade you're going to need to do, Michael Porter Jr., 100%. He's so handy to have on your team. He's young, so his contract is little. He's got value, which is what you need, and also the Hawks want him, so he's also very handy to have. One player that you're also going to be needing is Colin Sexton. Once again, same situation as Michael Porter Jr. Small contract, a lot of value, and also the Hawks want him. So, same situation. You get the theme that's going on right here, right? The last player you're going to be needing is James Wiseman. It's pretty easy to get him. Just trade Lamarck Soldiers, Keldon Johnson at a first. Uh, it's pretty dang easy. And then for the final piece of the puzzle, you're going to need to go over to, funnily enough, the Atlanta Hawks and pick up their first round pick. Uh, you could probably give up Lonnie Walker. I'm not doing a proper rebuild, so maybe that, could, that works out. But if you can, get him for as cheap as possible. Then, you go over to the Proposed Trade, which if you guys don't know, is over here at Proposed Trade. Go into there, go to them, go over to the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, you see Trey Young? Pop him in there. Then you give up Colin Sexton, Michael Porter Jr., James Wiseman, and this Atlanta Hawks first round pick. You notice how that Hawks pick has three stars, which is really handy. That's why we trade for it all the time. You see here, this doesn't go through. We need to add 5.7 million to this trade, which was pretty easy to solve. Just add Solomon Hill and Tony Snell to that trade, and this trade goes through every single time. So it's not the most difficult to trade for Trey Young, but it, it, it's very, very handy to have. You just have to give up three very young players that maybe might develop well for you, but Trey Young is loved by 2K, and I suggest you do it. Player number two on my easiest superstars to trade for NBA 2K21 My League list is the one, the only. Ben Simmons. He's very, very handy to have. Yes, the man can't shoot, but if you move into the small forward, he goes up to an 80, 91 overall, which is really handy to have as a starting small forward. He can defend, he can go inside, he can pass the ball, he can, he's quick. It's He's got everything but shooting, so he's a very, very good pick up to run at the three, and he can guard players like LeBron James, so it's really, really handy to have. The first player you'll need, which is funnily enough, we're on the Denver Nuggets, is Jamal Murray. He's pretty easy to trade for if you offer up a large contract and a point guard such as D'Angelo Russell. Maybe chuck in a young player like a Jarrett Culver if you're the Timberwolves, or Darius Garland if you're the Cavs, uh, and you should probably get yourself Jamal Murray, if not, chuck in a first. Another player, once again, you're going to see this guy quite a lot, is to get Colin Sexton, who's not too difficult to get like I said, like I just did then, it's not too difficult to get. Also, like the um, last, like getting Trey Young, you're going to be needing a, a three, a very valuable first round pick, which the Chicago Bulls pick is the perfect one to get. If we go like this, chuck in two firsts and say three seconds, that works. The Chicago Bulls like that. If you put together a trade package of Jamal Murray, Sexton, um, that first round pick from the Bulls, and that pick, yes, it doesn't go through straight away. you got to chuck in Mike Scott as well. That contract is handy dandy. And every time, the Sixers will accept that deal. It's one of the best deals around to get yourself Ben Simmons because, like I said, if you move my man to the small forward, he goes to a 91 overall, which, if we go to the f trade uh, player finder, if we go to small forwards, makes him the fifth best small forward in NBA 2K21, which is really, really, really good. So... I suggest getting Ben Simmons at the beginning of your rebuilds as well. He's one of the easiest to get. The third superstar in the NBA that is the, one of the easiest to trade for in NBA 2K21 is the man, the myth, the legend, Paul George. Yes, he is not listed as untouchable in 2K, and if you move into the small forward, he goes to a 90. He can shoot, play D, whatever you need him to do. This is really easy because you can get this done in one trade. Uh, well, two trades if you count the Paul George one. Go over to the San Antonio Spurs. 
let get them to give up Lamarcus, Derek White, and Patty Mills. So if you're the Pelicans, you, you need to just give up Brandon Ingram, uh, that your 2021 first, Jackson Haynes, Josh Hart, and two more first round picks, and you can get all three of the players that you need to make this trade work. Of course, using the change player tip that I said at the beginning of the video. Uh, move LaMarcus to the power forward. Um, that's all you need to do. Go to the trade finder, offer up LaMarcus Aldridge, Derek White, and Patty Mills, and your boy Paul George gets offered up by the Los Angeles Clippers, and Patrick Beverly. You also get Pat Bev, who's a decent player as well. So you can do that trade straight up. Move him to the small forward. Bang, you got yourself a 90 overall small forward that you can start. That's absolutely amazing. Imagine that, PG and Zion. Bam. Player number four. That's the easiest to trade for in NBA 2K21. My league. I'll show you right now who it is. Kyrie Irving. That's right. You heard me. He is one of the easiest players to trade for. Because I'm using the Jazz right now, I get rid of the... You get rid of... um. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, because he's quite hard to trade for. Not impossible, but he is really, really hard. That's why he's not on this list. However, straight away, we'll just trade Donovan Mitchell for um, De'Aaron Fox, because De'Aaron Fox is a player that you're going to be needing to make this tra trade work. So De'Aaron Fox, you're going to be needing. Also, a pick you're going to be needing is that Atlanta Hawks first round pick. Um, I suggest uh, don't chuck in your 2021 first, otherwise they're going to want to switch pick swap which is not what you want you want their first round pick straight up so if you go over here we'll chuck in say a couple of seconds here hopefully this works out for us and there we go that's how you get the atlanta hawks first round pick i haven't done a kyrie irving trade in a while but you can get yourself rudy gobert which if you trade for drummond move drummond to the power forward you can get yourself rudy gobert it's pretty easy once again you can stick with De'Aaron fox um you could move grady go rudy gobert to the power forward De'Aaron fox chuck in that hawks first round pick and you can get yourself Kyrie Irving and Spencer Dinwiddie. Boys, that's a very, very good trade for a bloody good point guard in the NBA, mate. And plus, you also get Spencer Dinwiddie, one of the best trades ever. Now, it's time for one of the hardest players to trade for in probably the, on this list. It's going to be Carl Anthony Towns. He's a very good starting center, probably, I'd say, third best starting center in the league. Um, yeah, this is how you trade for him. Straight off, yeah, you're probably going to be needing James Wiseman, which I'm surprised the freaking um, the Warriors don't do this trade straight up. I'm really surprised that they don't do this trade straight up for DeAndre Ayton. So you're going to be needing James Wiseman. Uh, keep him at the center position. Uh, if you go Chris Paul with James Wiseman straight up, nothing comes up. Beautiful. That means you're going to have to make your own trade. How about it? If you go over to, yes, you're going to be needing that Atlanta Hawks first round pick. That's going to come in extra handy today. You give up Macau Bridges for that Hawks first round. Sure. You're also going to be needing this Cavaliers first round pick, which is again, two star, three stars. And also probably take that Minnesota top three protected first from the Golden State Warriors also, if you can, that would be absolutely handy because we're trading with Minnesota. That's going to have a whole lot more value to them. If we gave up Carl Anthony Towns, Chris Paul, doesn't work out straight away. If you give up Devin Booker straight up, doesn't work. And then we could chuck in, say, our player such as James Wiseman. It's not going to work out just yet. If they give us, say, someone like a Juan Hernan Gomez, no. Then we chuck in that Cavs, that Hawks, and that Minnesota top three protected pick. And the trade does go through for your man, Carl Anthony Towns. So just as a quick little debrief, you just have to give up Devin Booker, James Wiseman, don't have to change their positions. Uh, we give up that Cavs first, which is three stars, Hawks first, that is three stars, and that Timberwolves top three protected first, which is also three stars. I suppose it should still work if you um, use two other three star type picks, but like the Hawks and the Cavs are guaranteed to have three star value. And that Timberwolves pick, I suggest putting that in every single time, because if you give up a pick that is already, that you know, they've traded away and they want back, that's going to be more valuable. But lads, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned something. If you did, like the video. Also, if you're new around here, go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. We're trying to hit 4,000, like I said at the beginning of the video. Could use your help. So if you guys haven't, go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. But that's going to do it, lads. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!